Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here from Baxter Cycle in mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa and look what I found sitting here. This is a used motorcycle. It used to belong to a friend of mine. It's got a lot of neat stuff added to it. And we're going to take it for a ride, have some fun on it, tell you all about it. Oh, it sounds good. It's got a pipe. I don't know what kind it is. We'll look at that when we get there. We'll get somewhere. But uh, it's got, the big thing is it's, well, it's got a couple different things that are, several different things that are really neat. The big thing right off the bat is the suspension. It's got a YSS rear suspension, and uh, I call them progressive fork springs on the front. They're hard fork springs, which some people call them. But the suspension on these are just really neat, you know. I just love them. I just love them. This here is Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa. Check it out. Bikes galore today. <laughs> well, it's got a pipe. We can hear that. Sounds good. Miles are, oh wow, very low miles. 46.69. The suspension is the real winner on this one. I'm bouncing up and down on the bike right now. Uh, he had another bike just like this. This is uh, his th third or fourth Himalayan. His other one had the, the YSS suspension on it also, and it's just, that's just a real treat. And that's something I will put on my Himalayan when my suspension wears out. This one has the uh, Pirelli tires. There's the derailed grill. If you get to Marnie, try them out. I don't know if you all have caught it yet, but I love Himalayans. They're literally my favorite all-around motorcycle. Look at that, it just handles like a dream. <laughs> and they're great, they're, they're, the big thing is, okay, they'll do the city, but they're just awesome off the pavement. You know, they really are a true adventure bike in the terms of gravel and dirt. And this is a fine example of one right here with the add-ons. So Royal Infill Himalaya is a uh, single cylinder, 411 cc, overhead cam, single overhead cam, two valve, 24 horsepower, about 24 foot-pounds of torque, that's 27 newton meters. Uh, the thing to know about those numbers is that all of that starts so low in the power range that it's literally right above idle. They're just a well-mannered ADV all-around bike, you know, they just do the right things at the right times. They have a five-speed transmission, uh, suspension, I think, is 7.9 on the front and 7.1 on the back. And I don't, I'll put the millimeters below here. Ground clearance is 8.6 inches, I believe. And uh, wheelbase is 58 inches, and I'll put the millimeters below for that, too. Sorry, guys. Weight on these bikes is about 200 kilograms, 199, I think, is what they're listed as. 439 pounds. That's with a full tank of fuel and in stock form. I ride, I ride mine regularly. I've got, and I've got, uh, 18,000 on mine right now, you know, no problems, things just runs great, I just love that. Like I said, it's my favorite motorcycle. Other things of interest, well, this bike, like I said, has all kinds of add-ons on it. I mean, just look at this, it's just ultra nimble, ultra... It is not nimble in the sense of uh, sport bike nimble, it's nimble in the sense of ADV bikes. It's, uh, it's actually, when you compare it to a sport bike, it'll feel kind of sluggish. But uh, that's what you want in a bike like this because that's why it's so stable off-roads. Uh, front tire is a uh, 21 inch, which I just love the 21 inch. If you've never had a bike with a 21 inch tire, you should try one. It's, it's a real treat uh, as long as you're using it off-road. The rear tire is a 120 by 17. Anyway, it's a, it's a beautiful bike. You know what? We're going to drive down here and see what we can learn. I'll show you all the little details. This thing has got a lot of little details that are really worth looking at. Alrighty. We've made our way down here to Cycle Park. Here again is the Royal Enfield Himalayan that we're going to look at today. This is a used motorcycle. This bike, I think I said 46, 4700 miles on it. He's got Pirelli tires on it. Uh, he's raised the front fender up. That's something you should always do on these. Jumping up a little higher, he's got a digital headlight. Or I'm sorry, LED headlight with the ring, the beauty ring. He's got his uh, GoPro mount right here. Over here we've got a brace. Handlebar brace. Let's see. Oh, tech adjustable levers. You can adjust those with these little knobs right here. Isn't that neat? Very nice. 
um, jumping down, he's got these GV three-point bars, or three points, better than the two-point system. They also give you enough room to do your oil filter. It's got the pivot pegs. Those are like 180 bucks new. So that's really quite a treat there. It's got the uh, reservoir cover, the brake master cylinder cover here. I think that's a Lex Pro pipe. Um, I didn't mention he has progressive springs in, the, in here. And then in the back, of course, he's got that YSS suspension. Other things to look at over here, he's got an oil cooler protector here. Of course, the GV bar is PV. He's got the uh, foot. Every, every Himalayan should have that. And I even think if you can get a bigger one than that, get one. I made a Bigfoot one for mine because uh, you get out in the middle of nowhere and uh, that's something you really need. Now jumping back here, he's got the bags, the Royal Enfield bags. They open like that, check it out. And then neat. I think they're supposed to be waterproof. I don't know if they really are or not, but the nice bag, isn't it? Royal Enfield. This would be a very good bike. Oh, very good bike to buy. Seat concepts. So I've got that on my Himalayan. That was one of the best add-ons I did. Uh, it makes the seat a little taller, but you really don't notice it. And um, I, I just I just think it was one of the best things I ever added to my bike, my Himalayan. Things that are on this bike that I would like to have on my bike, I'd love to have the suspension on this. And like I said, if, if the suspension on my Himalayan ever wears out, that's exactly what I'm gonna put on the YSS. It's a gorgeous little hot rod. If you like Himalayans, and I do, this is just, this is an incredibly well-equipped make. This would make a guy pretty happy, I think. It, it, it it's, has just about everything you could ever possibly want on a Himalayan already. Oh, that's a Sea Yacht on the back. This is a Pirelli on the front. Okay, I'm betting you that this Pirelli wore it. Uh, he had a Pirelli on the back originally, wore it out, and they put a Sea Yacht on the back. Pirelli on the front, Sea Yacht on the back. Uh, no, it's a beautiful bike. I love it. I love it. If you're interested in a bike like this, or any uh, Royal Enfield or Triumph or classic British bike of any type, give uh, go to BaxterCycle.com, give those guys a call, ask for Jeremy or Mark, tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you, plug, and uh, see what they got online. Their uh, website is always changing. They also have more bikes that are not on their website, so give them a call if you don't see what you like. Uh, also, they have all this add-on stuff in stock at Baxter Cycle. They have all the, you know, it, it's, it's there and ready to ship out. Uh, they also have all the Royal Enfield apparel. Everything that you, if you go to the uh, Royal Web, Royal Enfield website, every bit of apparel they have there, Baxter Cycle has in stock. Coats, t-shirts, hats, all that neat stuff. <laughs> all right, my friends. If the weather's nice, if the weather is nice where you're at, get out and ride. Wahoo!